Hi friends, it's Miss Vandemergel, and today we are going to learn about scale using emoji pictographs. Let's get ready. So first of all, we need to know what scale is, because when I say scale, you're thinking like we're weighing stuff. Well, actually scale lets you know how much each picture is worth in a pictograph, or it could be for a map or anything else, um, showing data or information. But for this example, it might say, black circle equals two cookies. And this would mean that you would count two for each black circle in the graph. And if you saw three black circles, that would mean you'd have to count like this, two, four, six, or two times three, and that would mean six cookies. So let's just move into it. Let's take a look at our first graph. So remember, you always need a title, and the title of our graph is our favorite emojis. And remember, we need a key. A key tells you what the picture represents or means. So let's look at our key. So we have for every emoji face, it's going to equal, in this example, one person. And part of what the key tells you is the scale of the graph. In this case, the scale for our graph is one, and each emoji equals one person who answered the question, what's your favorite emoji? So I'm going to just move my little picture down here. So our favorite emojis. And here we're going to fill in the graph using it's just one picture equals one person or one response. And here we see the yummy emoji has five. And that's our scale right there. I just made it big. And we're going to have five happy faces or yummy faces. And for the lovey face, we have three. And then for the cool guy sunglasses, we're going to put how many? That's right. You're looking at your data table and you should see seven and you'd put seven faces. Now for the, uh, there's two. And for the, oh my gosh, it's one. So now let's look at table room four's emojis. This time the key at the very bottom tells us each face is for two kids, two people. So it just got big. See, it's the bottom of your screen. It's the red two. So let's think. So for the yummy face, we need to put eight happy faces. No, let's count by two. So let's figure this out. Two, four, six, eight. So we're going to put two, four, six, eight. We're going to put four happy faces, and those four happy faces will represent the eight kids that chose the yummy emoji. Now let's look at the Livy eyes for our next one. Six children chose that. So now we need to figure out how many emojis we need to put on our pictograph. Let's count by twos. Are you ready? Two, four, six. So that's three emojis. And for our next one, since you know you're thinking, okay, I got this now, and you quickly count by twos and you go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So you know that you're going to put down six cool the emojis. And that will equal 12 responses, right, for your survey. So the next one's like, oh my gosh, there's only four kids that chose that one is their favorite emoji. So counting by twos, you know that's only going to be two emojis. And the final one is the, ah, the totally freaking out, oh my gosh, that's only one picture because one picture equals, that's right, two people. All right, let's move on to our next graph where I've changed the scale to make it trickier because you're totally smart, you can do this. Oh my gosh, this data table's missing information. Second graders, can you help me? Let's try to get started. Okay, stay focused. The first yummy face is 20, but what's our scale? Oh, there it's on the bottom. Our scale is five kids for each face, but it's 20. So let's count by fives. Are you ready? I'm going to put an emoji face every time I count by five. Let's do it. Five, 10, 15, 20. So I put four emoji faces under the yummy sign because four emoji faces equals 20, right? Because it's skip counting five, 10, 15, 20. But I could also even say four times five equals 20 
which we're going to be moving into in the next couple weeks. So I'm just kind of warming you up to the idea of multiplication. So let's count by fives for 30. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. We're going to count by fives. Here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's six emoji faces for 30. Oh, this 15 one, I bet you could do this. Cool guy sunglasses, 15. Let's, let's do it. One, two, three. So I'm going to show you how many faces. So how much is that? How many kids? Let's count. That's two emoji faces. Let's count. Five, 10. And that's right. Look, in our data chart, 10. You were right. It was 10 kids equal to emoji faces. Let's look at the surprise face. Let's see how many emoji faces come up. Watch. How much is that? That's five. Oh, and look, five's in our data chart. You saved the day. Good job. All right. Oh my gosh, here's another chart. It's not filled in. Do you think you could do it? Yes? You're going to help me? You're amazing. Let's do this. Five people for one emoji face. So let's count it. Ready? Five. 10, 15, 20. How many is that? That's four emoji faces. You're right. Let's move on to our lovey faces, counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's six lovey faces. Now let's go to the cool guys. Let's see how many cool guys are going to show up on our graph. Let's count. Five. Well, one is five, right? Two is 10. Three is 15. Oh, 15 was our missing number in our graph because we can count 5, 10, 15, which is 3 times 5. Okay, let's look at our guy here. With, here we go. One face. Two faces. How much is that? 5 plus 5, that equals 10. Look, 10's in our data set now. You solved it. Let's look at our final guy. How many emoji faces put, do we put on for a final one? That's right, just one. So second graders, I have to say, congratulations, my mathematic mathematicians. Today, you have learned how to read pictographs, check, kind of learned that yesterday, but you practiced, with different scales, totally new concept today, and you scale to solve for missing data, which you totally solve for missing data and on two of our different pictographs. So I want to say congratulations and you're amazing and I'll see you tomorrow. Good job.